hello all the purpose of this video is to find out how can we insert more than one files which are having different data structures into a single target using uh, using only one source code file so in order to do that uh, we will take two two different files which are having different data structures and we will try to insert those two files to a single target using only one source code file so the two files which we are using are uh, one with uh, employees information with department id 60 and uh, another is employees information with department id 50 so if you see this is the department 60 file and which contains uh, records as last name first name and the employee id that is where care where care and number if you see department 50 so this file have employee id first after that first name and last name that is number where care where care so that means that both the files are in two different data structure one with varker varker number and uh, another with number varker varker so these two files will insert into one target using only one source qualifier so to do that to do that we first create a new mapping So any one file we can take, we will take department 50 file files are separated and while importing what we will do is we will change the change all fields from uh, default uh, length or default data type to text or character data type and length as 150 and we will change the field name to field 1, field 2 and field 3 so that will become become more generic this department 50 as our source now the next important task is by some way we have to let informatica know the structure of our source file so we will add currently processed file name port to source qualifier level so that we can identify the mapping is processing which source source file currently so by this port we can come to know that currently which file is getting processed after that the next task is we have to uh, let informatica know what is the structure of currently uh, what is the structure of file which is currently getting processed so to do that we will create one table as field mapping so if you see here already created one table field mapping and in this table we have already defined the structure so department 50 will have last name as first column first name as second column and employee id as third column whereas department 60 file will have employee id as first column first name as second column last name as third column we will create indirect lookup on this field mapping table and that lookup will call in an expression first we will create a indirect lookup
we will be passing file name and the field name as in input values to this lookup so we will create two ports one with return value which will be sending from this lookup is offset we will add expression now from this expression we will be calling unconnected lookup to find out the offset current tip process file we will add Three ports, which will be on the output ports, having either three hundred fifty and two hundred four field. two values one with current process file name and another with field name that will be first name last name and the value corresponding workflow for it w direct we'll create a session task one thing we have to note over here is we have two different files 
and if you use the direct file load option we can give only one file as an input so we have to use indirect file load option so that we can use all the two at, at one go we can process all two corresponds so over here we have created one file list that contains both the source file names so this file list name we will give as a source file name and we will use indirect file load method so ultimately department 50 and department 60 will get rid of we have to add connection look at Truncate the target table before loading so that in case there are old record exist at target table, those will get deleted before new insertion. We we'll run the workflow again. So totally records got processed from source to target we will verify whether really 50 records got inserted at target table or not target table is taking wrong yes if you see over here there are totally 50 records got inserted at target level so, so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 records from department 60 and remaining all 44 records from department 50 we will see whether department 60 file contains really 6 records or not yes so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 it contains only 5 records and department 60 2, 3, 4, 5 Yes, so department 60 also In table also department 60 contains only 5 records 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 So this is how we have loaded files having different uh, data structure More than one files which are having different data structure Only using one source qualifier so, the main important part is we have to create one field field mapping table which will be used as lookup to determine the file structure currently processed file structure thanks for watching this video